Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay. All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Ready for the work week. Let's see what's going on here. Getting together with friends. A lot of you guys are getting together with friends this weekend. Are you did? Yeah, we have ear. Some good news coming in for you guys. There is some good news that's coming in for a lot of you guys. Show me spirit. What's coming to, whoa, okay. So we have club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. So for some of you guys, you will be dealing with someone here that's gonna try to make you do something against your will. We have rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. For some of you guys, you're coming out of a posture. Like if you've been experiencing some hard times, you're, you're coming out of that. And then we have dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. I'm telling you, like what, there's for some of you guys, there, of course, there's like a change in the wind is what I'm getting in this energy. Like if you were fearful of something, if you were worrying about something, there's there's a negative that's turning turning into a positive for a lot of you guys. We have acts, forces working against you. Some of you guys, yes, if you feel like there were some forces working against you, there were, but I feel like your spirit guides are protecting you from those forces itself. I'm hearing like, you know, God himself is protecting you from those forces. We have diamond. You'll be receiving or are, are giving a precious, precious gift. So for some of you guys, you're going to be receiving or you're going to be giving a very, very special gift to someone or someone's going to be giving that to you. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting for a lot of you guys. If you've been experiencing some type of this is this is giving me a feeling of almost like something slipping through your finger. A feeling of something slipping through your finger. This could be anything. This could be a relationship. This could be a job opportunity for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this could be money. Like I'm getting like a check slipping through your finger. For someone here, this could also be a situation with a child. Like I feel like it's something that's that that you you don't want to lose it. And for some of you guys, it's like not wanting to lose your shit is what I'm hearing as well. There's a, there's a lot of good news coming in. For some of you guys, yes, I feel like I'm getting an energy of like someone trying to make you stay in a situation that you don't want to stay in. Someone trying to persuade some of you guys. This could even be in terms of staying on a job, like putting in your two weeks notice and then your boss offering you some type of raise or promotion to try and get you to stay. That's for that's for someone here. Your spirit guides are saying that the most difficult part of a situation is over. The most difficult part of a situation is over for a lot of you guys. You're coming out of that. You're coming out of a, a negative cycle. Things are about to shift in your favor. Very, very positive. Very positive. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos. The fool. Yeah, you see that? A bright new, a bright new beginning. A lot of you guys, this is about you taking a leap of faith, strong Aries energy, but this is a clean slate. The devil, wow. Freeing yourself from something that's been holding you hostage, holding you back. Strong Capricorn energy. For some of you guys, there's a new beginning here. There's a new beginning with the Nine of Cups. It's gonna make you so, so happy. 
Whatever this is, it's going to make you so, so happy. Hmm. For some of you guys, there's something here that you have been wanting. I'm talking about you've been wanting this. You've been wanting this. And it's a shocker. It's an absolute shocker to you. And you're going to be getting it. With the full Capricorn energy and the Nine of Cups, you're going to be so happy. You're going to be absolutely, absolutely happy. Whatever this is that's coming in for you. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's my Virgo's ooh, current challenge. Queen of Cups and the Emperor. Giving a damn. Page of Swords. For some of you guys, you are having a very hard time giving a damn about a job. Pouring into a job, pouring into a career. Page of Swords. Some of you guys are looking for something else. Some of you guys, you're looking and hoping for something else, something better. With that Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy as your challenge, with the Emperor as your challenge. For some of you guys, you're having a hard time right now, present moment, pouring into a career or a job or a business the way giving a damn. I'm getting an energy of like truly, truly giving a damn with that Page of Swords. Some of you guys could truly be looking for something else. Some of you guys could be truly like, this is telling me like, looking on the other side of it for some of you guys you may have at one point in time felt like this already but then you're like no i'm gonna stay so you had a change of heart a change of mind and it's like you stayed but you're back at that same posture that same feeling that you once had has resurfaced for someone here has resurfaced for some of you guys you're having a hard time there there's some issues here with a father figure a divine masculine figure and this could be your boss i feel like for some of you guys this is an energy of like you have given to this person so so much you have given to this person so so much you care about this person so so much but you're tired of giving to this person this is like trying to please a father figure for a lot of you guys this is like trying to please a father figure at like it's kind of getting, giving me at all cost and it's exhausting this is like kind of telling me like this is kind of exhausting. This is a, this is a, a masculine energy. This could be a boss. This could be a father figure. But I feel like you're this Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Why you do love this person? And for some of you guys, this could be an older gentleman friend. But you have given so much love and affection, and you've been present. This is giving me you've been present, and I feel like you're kind of tired of that. I feel like you're kind of tired of that. You're exhausted. And I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, you're trying to figure out what can you do to get yourself out of this situation? What can you do to get yourself away from this person? For some of you guys, you're, you're wanting to get from under somebody here that is an authority figure in your life, somebody that's over you. For some of you guys, this is someone that actually financially provides for you. Even if it's a boss, this is where your paycheck comes from. If this is a husband, this person provides for you. If this is a father figure, this person has some, they have their thumb on your neck. Like this person, they still provide for you in some type of way, shape or form. Or their tone kind of melts you, kind of shrinks you. For a lot of you guys, this is somebody here that tries to shrink you. Like really and truly tries to shrink you. Give me a sec. Yeah, strong energy, strong energy. Look at the chariot. Cancer energy. Trying to move forward, trying to overcome obstacles. Yeah, four swords. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, you're patiently waiting. Patiently waiting to move on from this. Patiently waiting to overcome certain obstacles in the situation to move on from this. A lot of you guys, this is about meditating. This is about praying. This is about like trying to heal. Like, I feel like this you're in a situation right now present moment for some of you guys that it's causing it's giving you a headache it's aggravating it's giving you a headache and you're tired of it that's what i'm getting here in that energy yeah give me past energy spirit for my virgos oh what's that the magician see that a lot of you guys in the past, you were dealing with somebody that's very manipulative. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. For some of you guys, there's somebody here that you trust this person. You trusted this person. And this person stabbed you in the back. This person misused that trust that you had. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, Gemini, Virgo energy. With that magician, I feel like this is a lot of you guys sleeping on your own power. 
this is a lot of you guys sleeping on your own manifestation skills for some of you guys yes this is somebody here that th if you felt like forces were working against you for some of you guys in the past there was actually forces that were working against you people in your energy that, that were wishing you wishing bad upon you versus trying to instead of them trying to raise you up they were they were trying to push you down i'm definitely getting that in the energy as well with the magician in the reverse this is telling me there's been some blocks in for some of you guys there was blocks in communication for in a situation that you were trying to manifest like if you were trying to manifest a new job a new job offer if you were trying if you were kind of waiting on something i'm getting an energy of like kind of waiting on something to manifest there was some type of blocks you you may have not received there there were blocks in communication like you may have not received the communication or the offer or the opportunity that you wanted and i'm getting for an energy for some of you guys you may have not gotten the job that you wanted in the past because yes you did have all the skills but it's like did you really and truly bring it to the table did you really and truly show up that's kind of what I'm getting in that energy that you yourself truly, truly show up. For some of you guys, you actually didn't even truly show up for yourself. Why? Because you had some other things on your mind. Like you may have had legal matters on your mind. You may have had problems within your home on your minds. Like there was something distracting you to distracting you. That's why you couldn't work as hard as you needed to work on something that you were trying to manifest into your life. That's why you couldn't actually be there be present be available and i feel like I'm, I'm getting a big energy like if you were interviewing for something else or if you were trying to like if you were trying to get in school like some of you guys you may have not actually worked hard enough so you may have like kind of failed out or something like that like that's kind of what i'm getting in this energy i do feel like for a lot of you guys you were trying to do right by someone or a situation you were trying to do right by someone or a situation. For some of you guys, this is about moving. Like you, you invested in something in the past way too fast. For some of you guys, you really and truly could have made some type of investment that did not give give a return, that didn't give you a return. But it's showing me that a lot of you guys, you invested way too fast in the past. But I'm also getting like there's an energy here of you're needing to work hard and you didn't like for some reason i feel like there's an energy of like something distracting you guys in the past which in turn distracted some type of manifestations that you guys were trying to bring into your life it's almost giving me like some of you guys just not showing up for yourself the way that you should have because you were showing up for another situation that was kind of not had nothing to do with you out of your hands yeah that's a real real big energy Show me near future for my Virgos. Ooh, Ace of Wands. That Ace of Wands came, I hit that Ace of Wands and it came out in the reverse. So, this is telling me like there is some blocks in a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you may be experiencing blocks in your create your, your creativities like blocks in what you're trying to bring into your life blocks in what you're trying to create some of you guys may be experiencing some blocks in yeah you may be experiencing certain blocks in this new beginning with this ace of wands eight of swords because it's like there's something that's kind of holding you hostage and why do i feel yeah the sun and the three of swords. Hmm. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of something or someone holding you back. For some of you guys, you're st you could be stuck in something. For some of you guys, you're investing a lot into someone even for somebody here this person could actually be in jail i'm getting like resources for some of you guys your resources even whether you whether you have a plethora of resources or of your very limited resources i feel like a lot of your resources is going somewhere else outside of you outside of you i feel like there's something that in the very near future this new beginning that is that some of you guys have been trying to manifest for yourself i feel like the block in this new beginning is something's going to come out of the dark into the light you're going to be illuminated by something something that's going to not that's not going to make you feel so good this is something that's definitely definitely not going to make you feel so good that's what you guys are not seeing 
with that ace of wands here i feel like this is like somebody else getting a position that you want for some of you guys this is like some type of third party here i feel like there is and i feel like you know what i'm getting king of swords again i feel like that's when you i don't know why i just want to say that's when you're asked <laughs> i don't know why that was about to come on my on my mouth but i feel like that's when you guys are going to say enough is enough in some type of situation even if it's a job or a relationship or however this goes i feel like that's when some of you guys are going to be like enough is enough yeah like for some of you guys you may like someone may come in and they may offer you something and you may say no like a new job offer a new opportunity may come in and you may say no because out of tr not wanting to disappoint your boss are not wanting to step out of your comfort zone or however this goes and i feel like there's going to be something within this within this situation that's gonna put, like kind of leave you with no choice kind of like push you out the door like that's what i'm really and truly getting in this energy that's what i'm really and truly getting hmm yeah that's a real that's a real real big energy i feel like for a lot of you guys there's an energy here of kind of being aggravated by by your I'm, I'm, I'm getting a lot of work environment that's what i'm kind of getting for some of you guys right now it's i don't feel like it's like something that's always existing i feel like this is kind of right now and i feel like for a lot of you guys because that was kind of the overall energy like looking at different options there's a lot of looking at different options even if this is a relationship this could be a relationship with a father figure this could be a relationship with a boss this could be a relationship with some of you guys with your business itself your work itself and there is like there's been like there's some blocks that's been happening for you guys for some of you guys it's if you're a writer like if some of you guys if you're a musician if you're a writer i feel like you've been experiencing some blocks in that even but you're coming out of that there's a new spark that's coming through for some of you guys there is a new spark that's coming through show me my virgo's hopes and fears five five of cups hmm see and the star aquarius energy in your hopes and fears is that things are not going to work out the way that you want them to work out your dreams are not going to come true some of you guys you're not being famous some of you guys may be wanting to be famous this talks about your faith this talks a lot about you guys faith this talks a lot about what you guys have been pouring into that five of cups this talks about fear like fear and disappointment and despair like you're trying to hold on to the faith two of cups for some of you guys this is a relationship a partnership with that two of cups that's a soulmate that's a partnership and for some of you guys yeah it's like in your hopes and fears you're there's some fear that things is not going to work out the way that you want them to work out but i do see some good news coming in and i feel like it has to do with a connection a soulmate connection i feel like there's five of cups yes you may have experienced some disappointments because I'm, I'm seeing this you may have experienced some disappointments because this is what you want. This is what you're holding on to hope. So much hope. So much hope. Some of you guys, you're, having, you're holding on to so much hope that you're going to come together with your divine counterpart. You're going to come together with your soulmate. You're holding on to so much hope. And the craziest thing is that I feel like your spirit guides are saying that's this good news that's coming in. I feel like some of you guys there's a proposal that's coming in for some of you guys you're going to be receiving i feel like this is like a gift that's coming in from the divine itself for a lot of you guys and i don't feel like you see this coming like you're hoping and you're praying for it i don't feel like you see this coming i feel like a lot of you guys there's a lot of fear worries because i feel like it hasn't manifested the way that you want it for some of you guys you feel like there's forces that's working against you right now present moment 
And there's a feeling of that's an internal fear. That's internal worries. That's you causing tension in your own head because you're stressed out. You're, you're overthinking a situation. Or this is like an energy of like feeling like you just have bad luck. But your spirit guides are saying like the most difficult part of a situation, because even if this is a connection, a partnership that or a relationship that just hasn't been quite working out the way that you want it to work out, there is going to be a change in the wind here. There's going to be a change in the wind here. For some of you guys, this could be with an Aquarius. I have Aries, Gemini, a strong Aries energy, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And if you feel like you and this person, there's a person here in this energy on this side of the board, there's a person here in this energy, you feel like this person is your soulmate. This could be a partner that you're doing business with that you may have had in a fallen out with. For some of you guys, this could be your spouse or a person that you're in a relationship with. And like, this is not, this is not giving me a, on a grand scale. This is not giving me an energy that you can't get out of this. You can't get over this. You can't get on the other side of this. That's not what I'm getting in this energy. This could be really and truly for some of you guys, this could kind of be like a rough patch. Now on this side of the board, I'm getting a very, very strong energy. Like you have been pouring into like, this is like caring for your father. Like it's like wanting to please this father. And it's just, it's just, it's just not working out. For some of you guys, this is like a father figure. This could be your boss. Like and for some of you guys, this could actually be a business something that has failed, something that you that has come full circle. And it's like, you've been, you've been pouring and pouring and pouring into this, but you're tired of pouring into this. It's almost like giving me an energy of like, you cannot please this person, place, thing, situation. You've given it all that you can give it. And it's just not manifesting the way that you want it to. You've been experiencing a lot of blockages. For some of you guys, it's this that's actually been blocking you from your true purpose. It's this right here that has actually been blocking you from your true pur purpose. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of experiencing some types of blocks in your own creati creativity. Like if you're a musician, a writer, I'm getting real strong energy. For some of you guys, even if you're like spiritual advisors, even if you're like counselors, I'm getting an energy of you yourself. You have been going through some things and it's been blocking your intuitions. It's been blocking your communication skills. You know, Mercury just came out of retrograde, was it yesterday? So I feel like that that the, the change in the wind is about to come in because if you've been experiencing these blockages there's a change in the wind that's coming in for you guys yeah that's a real real big energy show me spirit what's these outside sources these outside sources from my virgos oh two of wands two of wands with the two of swords wow a lot of crosswords, you know what? A lot of you guys, you've been dealing with a lot of individuals that's been extremely indecisive. For some of you guys, there's been offers and opportunities that been, that's been been coming in and out. Like there's an in and out energy for some of you guys. You have been like trying to figure out which direction to go, but I'm also getting an energy of you have been dealing with a lot of individuals that have been very, very indecisive. There's an indecisive energy. For some of you guys, you've been kind of, excuse me you've been kind of waiting there's an energy here of like kind of waiting kind of scared scared to take that leap of faith for a lot of you guys you've been scared to take that leap of faith you're ready for this new life you're ready for this new beginning but you've been scared to jump you have been absolutely absolutely indecisive at crossroads even if it's to take a trip for some of you guys, if it's to if it's to reach out to someone, because some of you guys, you've been scared to reach out to someone. Some of you guys, you've been scared to show up for someone or for something, even for yourself. Even for yourself, there's been a lot of fear here. A lot of fear, a lot of worries. For some of you guys, the, the forces that you feel working against you is you working against yourself because you're in this mental prison. And the craziest thing is that your spirit guides are saying the worst has already, you've already experienced the worst. 
And for some of you guys, yes, you absolutely know you're dealing with somebody here. They want you to do what they want you to do when they want you to do. For some of you guys, you are dealing with somebody here that wants you to jump when they say jump. And for some of you guys, even when everything from head to toe tells you nope, you still do it. Even when everything from head to toe tells you nope, you still do it. For some of you guys, you're still giving somebody the best of you. You're still giving a situation or a person the best of you. But I don't feel like you're getting that back in return. I don't feel like you're getting that back in return. No, not at all. Show me spirit. What's the potential outcome in this situation? Whoa, what's that? Ooh, nine of cups. So you're going to be fulfilled. This wanted to pop out. What is that? Six of cups. Hmm. Something that you once with the devil again. With the devil again. There's something here that you once wanted. Something from your past. Something that's been a part of your life at some point. There's something here that you once wanted. Something very, very tempting. Something that you may have dabbled in. Whatever, whatever this is for you. It's something with that devil here. Something, ooh, the lovers. Ooh, two of cups. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it's, it's almost like I was like, is that devil kept t talking to me? And so it's like, okay, I was like, okay, let's pull, let's pull, let's pull. And then I just kept pulling. <laughs> and it's like, okay, the energy was like, okay, okay, okay. With the nine of cups and the six of cups, there's something here, something past life, past person. Something that's heavy, heavy on your mind, heavy on your mind. Something that, that you have history with, a person, place, thing, situation, nine of cups, something that you really and truly want. Something that you really and truly want. With the devil, Capricorn energy, it talks about making a decision. For some of you guys, it's something that's very, very tempting. Something that you're very, that draws you in. This draws you in. And for some of you guys, it's a person. But that lovers, Gemini energy, for some of you guys, you yourself have to choose between two people. And look at that. Right after that was the two of cups. Like, gosh, that's some strong energy. Gosh, that's some strong energy. Like, there's no going around this. There is no going around this. The potential outcome is like you can't, dr they can't drag you, <laughs> you know what I'm hearing? Like they can't drag your ass away from this kicking and screaming. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is a kicking and screaming energy here. Like this energy is strong. So whether this be you or somebody in your energy, like somebody, it's like cannot, this is like cannot absolutely absolutely cannot like can't drag your it's like can't drag your ass away from this kicking and screaming because this is gonna this is this, this whatever is coming in i feel like it's a person though i feel like it's a person for a lot of you guys this is what you want this is this is what you want strong strong energy that's a strong strong energy yeah there is fear. It's almost like a disbelief. It's going to take strength. It's almost like a disbelief when it comes in for you. It's almost like a disbelief when it comes in for you. Yeah. Let's see. What's this that's coming in? Because these cards were calling to me when I looked that way. What's this that's coming in? There's a choice. You there's we have the devil, the lovers, and the two of cups. Some of you guys you have a choice between two people. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here, they have a choice between two people. But this is someone here. You have someone here that a lot of you guys you're dealing right now, present moment with someone here. You and this person, you y'all cannot, y'all cannot do without each other. As dramatic as the situation is. And that's see like healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. For some of you guys, this person, if they're a masculine energy, this person reminds you of whether they're the, a masculine or a feminine energy. This person reminds you of a parent. This person may have some of the similar traits 
of a parent itself. And I feel like for some of you guys, that's kind of toxic. That's kind of a negative thing for some of you guys. But this is a soulmate. You see that? Double confirmation. Double confirmation. For some of you guys, you and this person, you both need to heal. For some of you guys, you and this person, you're both needing to heal for you to truly, truly come together. I feel like there's issues from past families, family issues. <clears throat> I can't even talk. I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. They have some, they have mommy and daddy issues. Or you may have mommy and daddy issues. Because I've picked up on some mommy and daddy issues here. And I feel like that's being brought into this connection itself. That's why things may may not. But let me tell you, with that devil, the lovers, and the two of cups, you and this person, it's, it's going to take some kicking and screaming to pull you and this person apart from each other. Look at that wedding. Stay optimistic about your love life. Because this reading went all the way through. Straight to a true, straight, straight to a connection that, yes, there is. I'm not going to say that this is not going to try. This is not going to be trying. I'm not even going to tell you that this is not going to be trying because it's going to be trying. But it's, but it's real. It's what you want. Look at that. You can't fight the attraction. You and this person, you cannot fight the attraction as much as you guys may try. As much as you guys may try, you cannot fight this attraction. No, not at all. Not at all. Show me the fool because you guys have this new beginning. Show me the fool with the hangman. You're about to see things. Pisces energy. Yeah, five of swords. This talks about conflict. You're about to see someone for who they truly are. Strong Pisces energy. Strong Pisces energy. Five of swords talks about conflict and challenges. Also talks about somebody here wanting to win at all costs. For some of you guys, there's someone here that this is giving me like, you're going to see someone totally new. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I'm seeing this 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 Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy again. With the Emperor, could be a father figure. Could definitely be a father figure with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Oof, and the Hierophant. Oh, sweetness. And the Queen of Wands. And the Will of Fortune. And the Ace of Wands. I'm going to stop taking all these cards because I wanted to see what was, what was going on with you guys. I wanted to see what was going on with you guys, but you got a lot of people in your energy. A lot of people in your energy. Some of you guys, you're dealing with a lot of, there's a lot of people. Hmm. For some of you guys, you're going to see somebody truly, truly for who they are. Gosh. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody, man, this person has a lot of, people in their energy this person has a lot of people in their energy hmm the craziest thing I'm seeing all I have all four queens that is I have all four queens here with the Hierophant, wow. Some of you guys, <clears throat> as I'm seeing and I'm looking at this candle for the very first time ever, this candle is turning absolutely, absolutely black. If you guys have ever seen my thing. And wow, this energy is really, really strong. For some, for some of you guys, you're dealing like there is someone here. Like if this is you, like there is someone here that is the power this person possesses. <clears throat> for some of you guys, the power this person possesses is strong. With that Queen of Swords, that Queen of Cups, that Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, I feel like this is a. I feel like this is you guys. I feel like right now, present moment, and we also, <clears throat> I can't even talk. We have the Hierophant, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Chariot. You don't even see this coming. Like, your life, a lot of you guys, I'm getting like, you're a force to be reckoned with, and there's going to be people, they're going to regret. There's going to be a lot of people that is going to regret playing with you. 
There's a, you're a force to be reckoned with. And the craziest thing is like you're being freed. There is what there's something that has been holding you hostage because there's been some chains. There's some chains that's being broken right now, present moment. As I'm looking at this one flame out of y'all know how I keep my temple. As I'm looking at this one flame, like I feel like this is you guys winning at all cost. I feel like this is you guys winning at all costs and whatever chain, like even if somebody was doing like black magic or something against you, like that you're being freed from. You're being freed from that. You are and like the leveling up that you're experiencing, whatever you, you could be my divine fa feminine or my divine masculine, you're being freed up from this. You are massive breakthroughs massive winnings massive massive abundance there's a lot of people that will be looking up to you there's a lot of people that's going to be coming to you seeking you out like what's up with your glow up there's people that's going to want to know there's going to be a lot of eyes on you there's going to be a, yeah there's a lot of energy here there's a lot of people that's going to want to be a part of this glow up that you're experiencing I feel like this is you guys, like there's a shift here. There's a shift that's happening, whatever. Cause you guys, if you like the forces that have been working against you, that is gonna, that's coming to an end. And I feel like that's the gift. It's almost like a gift from God. I said that at the beginning of the reading, like this is like you guys being so, so protected. Like this is like you guys like being so, so protected. I f yeah that's a real real big energy that's a big energy like it absolutely transforms even when i started looking that way at that 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 flame like it absolutely transforms here that energy the shift that's about to happen in your life it's such a massive shift and i'm telling you like if there's been something that you feel like has been holding you back because i feel it's like there's a chain that's being broken like there is a chain that's being broken. Strong, strong energy. My loves, I'm going to end this right here, right now. <laughs> Until next time. Love you guys.